Multiple dogs who were recently rescued from a hoarding situation in Garrett County that are still in need of help. WKYT's Maggie Rickerby shows us how one local organization is taking on the tough task of finding the dogs a forever home. It's been more than one week since the Garrett County Sheriff's Office arrested David Kirkpatrick on 62 charges of animal cruelty. Those involved with taking in the animals say that 25 of these dogs have been placed, but 50 of them still have a long way to go. I'm not in this alone. Anita Spritzer with Paws for the Cause has been helping animals for as long as she can remember, but the job doesn't get any easier. The organization has stepped up to help Garrett County's animal shelter during the Kirkpatrick case. We have a lot of people that believe in what we're doing and in our mission and they come on board and we get the support we need. Right now, Paws for the Cause is looking after four dogs. Two were rescued from the Kirkpatrick case, including Kira and another five-month-old Husky. They're very loving, they're very sweet. Um, the puppies are runaway train doesn't have many manners. The organization also brought in two other dogs, Tina, who is kind of shy, and Max, who loves to talk to help free up much needed spots at the animal shelter. And that was the important thing for, for Garrett County, was giving them the support that they needed to get through this. In the meantime, Pause for the Cause continues to support new ideas and actions to prevent another situation like this from happening. Things need to change. It is time here in Kentucky for change. If you would like to know more information about these animals, you can call Paws for the Cause or the Garrett County Animal Shelter. In Lexington, Maggie Rickerby, WKYT. Sounds like Max was asking for some help there. Now the hearing for David Kirkpatrick was postponed until September.